Here we go. Uh, I picked Nautilus mostly just because they they banned out my Lux from last uh, last night, and so I went with the second best pick for myself, and that is a Nautilus. And uh, my ADC Waffen decided to go with the Misfortune on this one, which uh, is a is a great mat, uh, great synergy between the two of us. Of course, of course. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, uh, with Clash being, with them being able to view your most played champions and such, it's uh, it can be pretty difficult to get who you want to play, you know, and who you're best at. Ooh. Yeah. Yes, I remember he... Yeah. Well, we at the time we knew that uh, Hecram wasn't on the bot side because of your ward in the tribush. Uh, early on, we saw Tristana and Zyra sitting in the tribush, not leashing Hecram, so we knew he was on the top side. Um, okay, maybe I'll take this off of directed camera because this is going quite quick. Yes. Alright, so here we have a little bit of an engage on the bot side here. Uh, we get a lot of damage down on them. We blow her flash, but I mistakenly just just kind of walk into turret aggro just a little bit and uh, I take that turret shot, which kind of turned that around for us. Yeah. Just a touch. Yeah. Oh, wow, he barely got out of turret range there. He almost took a third one. Yeah, it was. It, al it always messes me up how the riposte actually works on auto attack still, not just on, on abilities. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 Um, I would like to kind of point out our bottom, bottom river down here, how um, we kind of got it lit, lit up a little bit more than usual. Uh, that's just for the Hecram play to make sure that we can see him kind of coming. Because we Hecram's real fast, and he's he's running ghosts in this match, so we have to keep an eye on him. <laughs> a good old... Oh, there we go.
There's a level six. I'm waiting for her to go in here. Oh, here we are. Oh. Fira pops the old here. She's running around getting the repost and she gets it. Oh, we had a little bit of a skirmish here in the river. Here we are just clearing out some wards. Oh. Yeah. And the crucial part is here that we we got the trade kill on the dra on the jungler, so we get to take dragon right after this play. So even though we traded a one for one, we still get up on a, in objectives, right? <laughs> Always happy to trade the support life for for a dragon. Oh, I think Chronos or uh, Haywire's thinking about trying to gank TF here, but he he makes yes. Oh, he's spotted out by TF here. Ooh, takes the blast cone. Real smart there. Gets a little bit of range between him and TF. Oh, and here comes Fiora. Yeah, real good, real good idea. Well, that's okay. I think, though, because Haywire was still summoning his ult, right? So, if you going back in there, you, you probably die to the Hecarim and TF. Mm -hmm. And he's got that crucial blue buff that he just loves so much. Oh, well, he's the one that killed Ekrum. He pulled it right off his corpse. <laughs> oh, and we have our jungler here making the best out of the kills, picking up that Rift Herald right at nine minutes. Oh, look at this crucial dive here. And she actually pulls it off. <laughs> oh no, you're you're definitely not wrong. I'm pretty sure you know she does she blew her ultimate in the last fight. I'm still sure that she wins that uh, ten out of ten times. Uh, not with the Tiamat cloth armor Fiora. Just Fiora in general. I, th I think I'd still take her above the Olaf.
Oh, we have a potential gank here, top lane. Ooh. He crucially uses the little... Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. This is where he kind of got his hope back. Right here. Oh, and I believe we actually summoned him mid here. We kind of missed the charge, but we did get a few plates off of it. But we can see their bot lane moving up here, and I believe at the time we made the call. And yes, you, you can see that we have the ward here. So we did spot them out, able to get our mid lane back. But our Teemo decides to stay for the tower. That's a lot of gold in his pocket, if he can get this. Oh no, I mean at this point, right, we, we have we have the first turret with all of our, our gold on Teemo, right? And we we're up a dragon. So there's no way this game is over yet. Okay. Okay. I think Hecarim kind of has a feeling here that something's going on. Yeah. No. Nope. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'll I'll give us a little bit. I'll, I'll give us a little bit of credit there. I mean, we had the team of Rome up from mid, but we didn't try to force the gank. You know, once we once we once you guys realized that Fiora was backing off, that she saw you guys. Uh, we you called it off and you went back to farming. Yeah, I think the cr real crucial part about this is that we, we pretty much have vision on Hecarim the entire game. So that he can't use his dash in and, and surprise mechanics in order to kill any of us. So we're, pr we're doing a really good job of keeping the enemy jungler in check at this point.
Oh, we got a little gank here on Timo right here from Hecrum. Oh. Right. Oh, we got a little dive happening on bot side here. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, perfectly timed CC there, too. We really kind of locked him down, just got the full, full advantage of his bullet time off of that. Yeah. I remember this play, too. We spot Hecram on this ward over here, and we all just decided to collapse on him. You know, kind of really, really get that jungler real down in the dumps, because he can't even farm his own jungle at this point. Mm -hmm. It's now. Now they... Okay. I would have thought it would have been after the pickup of the second dragon. Or we just perfectly timed it where we all there at the same time. Okay. Oh, we have a flash from Haywire. Rather aggressive. Oh, but she's taking turret aggro. Nice. <laughs> now this was very interesting to me um if you saw like about 30 to 40 seconds ago they had the opportunity to go and clear out those wards from the dragon pit but they just decided to keep dropping wards in the back so they knew that we were taking it but they did nothing really to stop it so i think you're right i think at this point they're pretty much given up and they really don't uh, care to try for any of these objectives anymore. He was almost there. I think he probably could have gotten out if maybe if he would have had his flash, though. Two times, bro? Yeah. Well. Yeah, okay. That's good. <laughs> yeah, it's not too bad. I actually have a date this evening, so oh here we go. Oh, <laughs> wow. It is indeed. No, it will be the just the one. <laughs> A little bit, yeah, cuz you nobody knows when to leave and I don't know. It's kind of like, you know, you, you really want to leave because you just want to be alone with that one person, but at the same time, you have you have company, right? Right. Right. Exactly. So now you got to kind of, like, push your friends to leave, you know? It's a little bit of an awkward encounter there. Oh, well, I see here we're trying to set up for Baron a little bit, maybe even um, try to set up a kill bush or something here. Oh, and we started with only two people.
it was it was highly unlikely. But I mean, you got to give them credit. I mean, they had to try. It was either we were going to get it and win the game, and they didn't try, or you know, he goes in there and dies, and then unfortunately, that's what happens. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, the uh, replay has captured some of my less successful hooks in this game. Yeah. We did, and this was actually a full straight four dragons for us, so we got the soul right off of the fourth one. Didn't give over a single dragon. And actually... Actually, if I think I'm correct, this uh, this game we didn't give over a single objective. We had well, except for our, our top lane turret, but we stole or we got every dragon, we got every rift herald, and right now we're the only ones with Baron. So I believe at this point we uh, we have an excellent objective control in this game. Unfortunately, there's another miss of my hook, but uh, we get the kill out. No. The main objective there. Yeah, I think it really unlocked his potential to just kind of control the map with his his shrooms and and be able to view where the other team is even heading just by them based upon them running over his shrooms, you know. Mhm. Mm Okay, so I do remember that play that just happened. We were chasing down the Fiora in the bot lane because we wanted to stop her split push. And we tried to get up into the bush to try to stop her from backing, and she was just mysteriously gone. Um, so she didn't, in fact, teleport there like we had suggested earlier. <laughs> very well played i think by our team there we did a really good job of communicating and uh tracking their 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 movements pretty well yeah it, it pops up for uh after every game this is this was the last game that we played today actually uh it pops up for every game it tries to give you hints and tips and stuff on on how to play your champion it's 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 really nice actually i enjoy it mm -hmm. yeah it's pretty helpful and and when you get into a game they 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 have like a little squared off uh program right here and you can automatically port um like pro build uh runes and stuff into your, your uh into your 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 own game so, like, I don't have to set my own room pages. All I have to do is press a button, and it does it automatically. For that game, um, I'm going to have to go with the Quinn. Uh, just because he had to have a tough mental after that second death up there. He really had to try to climb her back into it and he had to deal with Hecram up there diving him all the time and he really clawed his back way his his way back to victory, I think. She did, but I think that was mostly because she kind of just stayed in her lane and farmed, you know. She didn't really impact the game at all. Very little game impact. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, it's 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 a men it's a mental thing, you know. Man, he missed this hook, but he might get the next one. You know what I'm saying? Yes. 